All right, guess what guys? The car, because I'm making it heavier, as what I'm gonna show you very shortly, um, we're making it a little bit heavier. So, this really, really solid steel rack, I'm gonna do a bit of a change to it. We're, um, we're actually changing that over to a very lightweight aluminium rack. That's apparently stronger. Um, but will weigh a lot less so because I'm taking that bit of weight away I'm gonna add a tiny bit of weight on I'll show you shortly Okay, so we have a, a couple of items to go into the ute um, I'm not sure if you can guess what one of them is But uh, yeah, let's get started. All right here we've got a few pieces I'm not sure what's in each one. Um, some stuff to do with the bull bar, some stuff to do with this new wrap on the back. So just open them up, see what we got. Yeah, that's part of the wrap. Awesome. I was hoping there wasn't too many pieces to the bull bar. So we've got bits for the wrap now. Unpacking lots of bits and pieces to build this in the wind in a campsite. As I do. Um, this is what's inside the box. Oh, it's, oh that looks nice. That, that looks proper quality compared to what I had on there before. Um, I don't know, that looks nice. That is, it's a lot lighter as well. There's the other rails um, they've already unboxed that are in the box over there. Um, let me have a look at these instructions and I'll, and I'll explain to you how you do it. Uh, I got the bolts out, right? Because I'm a mad dog. Now see, see these ones here, right? I didn't even realise this was in here, but in the actual uh, manual roller for Savage Tech, it's got this part where you can roll the bolts and you slide them on down into there, and this is going to bolt actually on top of that. You do drill two holes just through the, uh, or three holes just through the um, uh, roller shutter, but nothing actually gets drilled into the body. Alright, check this out. These bolts here slide straight in. Thank goodness I left just that not good amount of room there, but they slide in there, right? And then you can slide them right down, and then they're going to hold that side of this bracket. Obviously, with the, with the big dog on there, they're going to come up through that, right? Uh, then you do drill two holes, just through, only through your um, yeah, thingamajibby. I don't think you go right through the uh, tub itself. Um, I'm having a look what we're going to go through still. Um, but then you've got these spaces that sit up. So then it takes the whole weight of it over there as well. I'm getting pretty excited because I've just realized it's gonna cover these uh, filthy holes that I made for my other rack. The one I just took off. So it's gonna look nice and flush. Yeah, buddy. All right, so as you can see, that's just lined up. I'm lining it up right at the back here so it's right on that lip. I'm bang it a tiny bit. Yeah, so it's sitting, I want this bottom bit just to sit flush with that line there. I don't know, it looks neat to me. The pretty cool thing about it is it's all sort of just like, see how you go. Not see how you go, but you just line it up, use your eyes. You say, oh yeah, that looks like a good spot to drill a hole. No? I like drilling holes everywhere. Here's good. All right, there we go. Drilled in, right? Couple of bolts. It's all just through the um, going by the instructions from the, the website and stuff. You don't have to drill into the actual Ute tub. You can, you can connect it straight onto your um, cover. So I've only drilled only through the cover itself. It does still sort of support off the tub using the uh, roll shutter and the roll shutter brackets and whatnot. Um, so we'll see how strong it is. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm really, really keen to see how this all looks. Uh, I'm going to keep going. We've got a uh, couple of pretty washers and little, little, uh, make sure you use your spring washers because these things rattle around, especially on corrugation. So you want everything to be nice and tight, right? Um, anyway, we'll pop a couple of these caps on um, and I'll show you what that looks like and I'll start doing the other three. All right, that is those two done. Let's do the other side. These are super tight to pull through. These little bolts that slide into your rail. So what I found is you can throw your, your spanner, put your thumb on the top, you can pull it like that. Makes it heaps easier, okay? Just so you, there you go. Tip from me. 
I'm just tightening the last bolt so I have all four uh, um, supports in. Um, but then I'll call it a night when it's getting dark now. Um, and I'm annoying all the other campers all my noise. Um, so I'll show you in the morning. All right, good morning. It's been raining all night. Now it's been crack of dawn. Waking up early to get this crack and get this finished. Um, everything's wet, but it should be right. All right, let's get these pieces on. All right, so next thing that we're doing is installing the, um, I don't know, the side-to-side -side rail thingy. Inside, it's already got um, a little bulky thing. So it's upside down right now, so just line it up to wherever it's going to go. Then bolt it on through. Easy peasy. It's just going to be a quick boom boom. Neat. Alright, so once you've, um, basically you've threaded your couple of screws in through the bottom, keep it loose a little bit. Um, and then just make sure, I just use my fingers just to give it a guide on uh, making sure it's centralised. Um, one cool thing I just noticed, it's got some pretty good bloody tie downs in the end of these. Uh, you might have seen, obviously that's only attached to the um, the roller shutter, so you've got that bit of flimsiness there, yeah? But as soon as I've put this crossbar on, it's all gone. That's taken up the entire um, flex that was in the in the roller cover. But I thought, look at this, guys. It's completely taken away the flex that I was really concerned about. It's gone. I'm putting a lot of force under that. Gone. Yeah, make sure your bolts are nice and tight under there. There's two on each one. And make sure you use your spring washers. Um, if you're driving corrugation, make sure you just check those bolts because everything becomes loose. Um, but I don't know, this is pretty good. This is quality, it's up there. Like it's, everything feels really nice about it. Okay, so for the side rails that's gonna go in, make sure you face these bolts inwards towards you so you don't see them from the outside. Um, but you just crack this one, this one here, just one, and then you can slide this unit up and down, doing this one hand um, to suit your ute. I'll show you that fitted in a sec. As I said, make sure your bolts are facing inwards. It's a very, very simple, basic uh, setup. Um, compared to my old rack, um, nothing bad to say about the old rack, but the uh, in comparison to that, um, it's very easy to set up and put on. Super easy, there's not as many bolts. Um, but anyway, that just slides in. I'd, I'll, I'd say put a bit of pressure on here when you're tightening this bolt, but you can't even move it like it is. There's no flex at all. <laughs> Quality. Well, now we're working in the rain. I'm, um, I've got to fit something else to the car today, so I'm hoping to maybe do that underneath the awning um, of the Caribbean, but it's just wet. It's always wet. It just won't stop raining. Yeah. Really? But then soon it stops and then it's just sunny. Yeah. That doesn't look like it's going to do that today. Well, I know it. Yeah? Alright, good. That's what always happens. <laughs> I hope so. Okay, side. So oh, that's completely installed now. Look, secure as. No flex at all. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? <laughs> that's quality, huh? Good as. Thank you. We're the most funniest people. <laughs> Thanks, Ace. Right, Do you really feel the way I feel stored? Walking in um, Memphis. Rock and roll. Look how bloody neat and tight. Walking oh, with my yeah. feet ten feet off the field. Walking in Memphis. But do you really feel the way I feel? I put on my blue suede shoes and I boarded the plane. Touchdown in the land of the Delta Blues In the middle of the pouring rain Touchdown in the land of the Delta Blues In the middle of the pouring rain